all of his co-workers were gone, what could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. What a beautiful room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone... What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. And there it is, the last Stiggly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here, and now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Aha! Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just... it's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time.
Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found a fig Anley, not the third. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? If under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? Let's see, what came next?
Oh, yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. This was the fifth mini-stan, and this one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. Ah, <sighs> takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. And then there was no more, because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Um, 
No, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the Memory Zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? Yes, I love that video. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one.
This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it, the very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more, more memories. Yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then, somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy, and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm <laughs> sorry. 
Thank <laughs> you.